So hello everyone, welcome back with another video of Sales First Geek channel and I know this video is after a long time. So the topic that we are going to discuss today is about the repeater component in Salesforce screen flow. So without any delay, let's get started. So first of all, in order to create our flow, I'm simply going to click on create button and click flow over there. Now you will see a new layout or you can say user interface. I am in the pre-release org of summer 24. So you will see a different UI. So right now you can see start from scratch or use a template. Also you have one more option uh, build with Einstein like if you have the Einstein license available in your org. So that's a paid feature I guess. But for now we are going to see start from scratch. So let's click on next. Once you click on the start from scratch you will see multiple options over there. So for now we are going to create a screen flow and click create. Now once this is done, the component that I'm going to talk about is like going to handle a lot of use cases, right? And what it is, let me show you. So first of all, I'm going to add a screen onto my flow and here I'm going to type repeat contact screen. And now I'm going to use the repeater component that we have. So now in the repeater component, you need to use the standard components that we have in Salesforce screen or I mean the screen components that we have in our flow, right? Let's say if I'm going to use the field section and here I create, let's say contact variable and object, let's say contact and click done. Let's say if I try to drop the name or any other component from that pre built components that we have that that come from the record uh, variable right you will not be able to add that to the repeater component so maybe in future we get this uh, ability to add these component into the repeater as well but for now we are not able to do that now let me like remove this variable because I'm going to use the standard screen components that we have. So first of all, I'm going to use our text component for first name. Let's say first name. Then similarly, another text component for last name. And I'm going to make it required because as you know, on contact level, we have last name is a required field. Now after that, I'm going to add the email component that we have. And also let me try whether I able to add the standard component for name as well so yeah I am also able to add the standard component that we have as well so what I can do I can also remove the text components that I added over there but the problem with this screen components you cannot make the last name a required field right so that's the issue with this component but for now I added it so let's say I'm going to add the API name name over there so this is the repeater component that I configured till now now what's the beauty what's the use case that we can do I'm going to explain later in the video so for now let me click on done okay I need to define the repeater so let's say here I'm going to type contacts as the API name of the repeater and this is the main part of the concept of repeater let me click on done Okay, I'm still missing the email field API name. So let's say email. Click done. And now let me save my flow. Let's say repeater use case. Now let me click on debug to see what this repeater component will do, how it will going to help us for our use cases, right? And what problem exactly we are solving with this with this repeater component so it will take some time to get loaded let me click on run so now here you can see we have first name last name and email so here you can see add button and here you can see the remove button let me click on add button so you can see there is another screen appear over there let me click on add again yeah so see that's how i can add any number of records Maybe there are some limits. I need to check the official documentation if there is any, but I don't think so because it is allowing me to click on add again and again. Right. So from the remove button here, you can see I can remove as well. So 
the benefit of this repeater component is like you can use the same screen or use the same component again and again by clicking on the add button so the problem we are solving with this component is earlier we need to display the screen again and again we need to connect the element or what i what i want to show you is like let's say if i go back here now i need to create an another screen like whether you want to create another content so on that i need to check the input like yes if i want to create more context so then i need to connect the screen one again right so i hope you are understanding this so it is like i am on the first screen i have the inputs for the contact one now i need to select a checkbox like whether you want to create a new contact or not let's say if i select yes then i will connect the same uh, path to the first screen again so that if the output is yes then show the same screen again but by this uh, feature we don't require that because we can create any number of contact or any number of uh, we can repeat the screen any number of time by just clicking on the add button right let me uh, go for a practical demonstration of this uh, feature for that let me click on done and let's try to add some context now how we can add context from this repeater component let me show you so as soon as we created this screen component right here you can see we have context and if i go to context here you can see type is like a uh, list and api name is context now let's say if i uh, go to the uh, debug section over there and type here let's say con1 test2 and con at the rate test dot com now let's say i want to add one more so let's say con2 test and let's say test at the rate mail dot com some random data because i'm not creating anything right now so i just put some random data over there if you want to add more data you can let me click on finish button so in the right you can see all items and in all items we have this array when i say array it's a collection and when i say collection it's a list actually so whenever i say like list so in salesforce flow collection variable is the list so let's say if i go back to copy and type json formatter online although it will not format it but just to show you how it actually looks like so you can see i pre uh, tested this scenario so here you can see in the same way we have the output from that uh, component right like email equals to this although i use the standard component so in the same way you can see email over there but the thing that i want to let you know that we have the same data in a list like uh, contact 1 contact 2 and contact 3 this is my use case that i built it before creating this video so let me like remove it and now i can correct it for you so let's say yeah here we go so now here you can see this is the details of contact one this is the de uh, details of contact two so what i want to tell you it's a list that we are getting and how we are getting this list in the all items now how we are getting this all items you will see here we have the repeater contacts like this is the repeater name then uh, under contacts we have all item attribute now in order to show you what i mean let me go back to my flow so as you know it's a collection variable so although we need to cre uh, for creating a contact we need to apply a loop over there now you have a question like okay Shubham, what, what why you are going to use a loop you can use a create record element and just put the collection variable over there but here is one uh, issue or let's say one problem i cannot say this is a problem but maybe they can uh, improve it in future the thing is when we add the repeater component right we are not defining any s object type like whether the components that we are going to add create a contact or store any object details so that's why we cannot use the create record element directly over there 
so that's why we need to use a loop element then we can create a contact record variable over there fill the information and use it uh, to create the context so for example in the loop or also let me show you before creating a loop let's say I use a create record element here now let's say I will go to dismiss and let's say I am going to create the record menu uh, sorry use a record variable I am going to create multiple records so let's say you will not find anything here so if it is a collection variable right you can able to see you are able to see the value or the variable over there that is context but right now we are not getting it so that is the reason because we didn't define the as object type over there let me click delete element and now use a loop element so when I use the loop over there you will see I type on and in the collection variable here you can see a repeat contact screen so that's the screen if I add a comma over there you will see screen component is contacts right if I click on contacts again you will see then we have all items so if I select all item you will see contact screen to contacts that is the repeater component and then we have all items right so that's what it is so you can see I am able to add it into the collection variable in a loop but not in the create record element because create record element need what type of record we are going to create and that is not defined in our repeater component variable <clears throat> so now in order to create account what I need to do I am going to use a create record uh, yeah, sorry assignment element and in assignment I need to create a contact variable as well let me go to new resource use a variable over there let's say contact data type is record object contact right so the API name is already used for another element so let's say contact record then I'm going to click on done so here I need to define contact record dot first name equals now here you can see in the loop we are basically adding that collection variable that is coming from the screen so I am going to use the same con current item from loop dot name dot first name because it's a standard component that I added or name component so that's why you are seeing uh, con then uh, name then first name in the same way I can do the step four let's say contact record dot last name and in the same way contact record dot email because these are the three inputs that I have now in the last name similarly I am going to do con dot name dot last name and in the same way for email con dot email dot value right so that's how I basically added uh, the con uh, added the contact details from the repeater variable to uh, the contact record variable that we created now I also need to store the information because I have multiple contact records so I also need to store the contact record into a collection variable and that is contact collection variable now I am going to add an assignment over there let's say new resource and here I am going to add a variable again let's say cone collection then data type is record allow multiple values because in this variable we need to store multiple values that I am that's why I'm selecting this checkbox and in the object I'm going to type contact again now let's click done and here in this collection I need to add my contact record variable that I just created so let's say contact record remove the dot and click outside so that's how you can configured it now once all the records that are in the collection variable that is coming from the screen are visited or basically added to the con collection we need to came outside the loop and create a context so I am going to select create records over there so now you can also see there are like the details that you are seeing on the screen are little bit changed 
you can see create record one is automatically appear over there so these are the one of this is also one of the feature of summer 24 release uh, i'm going to create a video very soon with all the flow features uh, so that i can explain in more details but i am just waiting for the release notes but i think uh, now we have the access to those release notes so i am going to create the video for it so let's say create context now i am going to create a multiple record from a record variable and now you can see call con collection over there so that's it now i am going to save my flow Let's say click on debug. Now I am going to click on run. So now in the first name you can see I am going to add let's say Ramesh. Then in the last name Kumar and let's say rk at the rate gmail.com. I am going to add one more contact. Let's say Peter Parker pk at the rate gmail.com right you can add more accounts or more contacts if you want I am just going to show you the demo so I just created two uh, records over there and let me click on next so as soon I click on next you will see all records are ready to be created when the next screen pause or local exam is executed or when the interview finish right you will see these uh, records in the salesforce form because this is a screen flow and yeah so you don't have any option to basically roll back the process that you debug over there right so whatever you did in your screen flow will be visible in your salesforce org. but for record triggered flow we have the feature for rollback records right any changes will not be reflected to the salesforce org if you made any in the debug mode so now let me go back to the org and go to context so let me click on new this week so here you can see peter parker and ramesh kumar two contacts are created and I didn't do anything like I didn't created multiple screen. I didn't reloop or reattach the screen uh, to basically move, uh, show the same screen again. It's just from the same screen I added my inputs, and by just clicking on the add button, I can create multiple records or I can store the multiple data in a collection and then use the loop over there to basically collect all the information and then create records over there. Right? So we can implement a lot of use cases. The problem that we are solving with, with this repeater component is like we don't need to provide the input by moving forward to the next screen and that's what we are achieving with this functionality. I hope you like it and let me know if you have further suggestion or further use case uh, for using this component. I will add some more videos for the same. So I hope you like this video and if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for watching.